I think the thing about um, Newcastle Gateshead, its big strength is its people. It's a great place to live, but it has a real humour about the place. It's a wonderful city, it's a wonderful place to be, just because of the geographical surroundings as well. You're never more than 10, 15 minutes from the countryside, and people are just really, really nice and friendly and want to help you and get on. The main strength of Newcastle Gates as the Open Core is absolutely the dynamics of the cultural offer and it's also the great transport infrastructure. All the statistics show that people are flocking to the cities and somehow we have to make sure that with people coming to the cities the sustainability issues become better and not worse. In order to get um, more people living and working in the city centre, I think we need to um, work on improving the housing offer. We need to ensure that the city is well connected. It's about building on those strengths, but also creating a place which is sustainable for the future. Despite the wonderful sunshine today, Newcastle isn't perhaps the best place in the world for solar energy. But we have other sources of energy. So in new housing development, we'll need to make sure that, that we build in things like um, photovoltaics, we build on wind power, and that new and renewable energy is at the core of any development. I think we have already an outstanding skill base with the five local universities that we have in the area, all working in slightly different fields, all with different strengths. Part of our problem is that we're a net exporter of talent that people, talented people, will leave with very valuable skills, still leave the North East in search of um, some employment elsewhere in the country. If you want to retain more graduates, it's in the quality of life, it's in the levels of confidence, it's in the belief, it's in the understanding that this place will be one of the centres in the world that people want to live and work in. We need to make sure that young people can find a solution for them. If that's higher education, that's great. If it's not, let's make sure there's something of a good enough quality to help them achieve what they want to. We're working very closely with, with a range of employers, including Nissan, about writing the skill sets that they need to recruit people into their businesses. We have the Newcastle Innovation Machine project that is starting a whole bunch of high-tech companies. As new businesses that are starting right now uh, turn successful, we can use those stories of success to attract more inward investment. We are planning to construct what will be called Science Central, a combination of a science park and inner city eco-urban regeneration project. The Newcastle Institute for Research on Sustainability is the vehicle. How can we turn an old industrial city into a sustainable city for the future? Hulls Yard is a cluster of businesses. We're a media hub for the region. There's about 400 people work on site. There's about 75 different businesses here. And the amazing thing is that they're all collaborating. I would be really proud as a board member of 1NG in a number of years' time to look back having successfully completed an international conference centre, probably here on the Gateshead side. International conferences bring business to the region. We've got good space here, but what we really lack is exhibition space. There is a foundation and a, a good platform for growth. We're getting it right, we have strong ambitions, and we're going to continue that over the next five years. The whole digital knowledge economy is going to be massive and international and Newcastle Gates had needs to anchor itself in that. So a decade from now, I think that entrepreneurs who will be starting up businesses then will look back on the entrepreneurs who are starting businesses now. They look at their stories and they will see that there is a chartered path towards success. In 10 years time, we will see all of that regeneration and infrastructure activity that we're embarking on now will be completed. Those businesses will be thriving. Inward investors will be here operating in Newcastle Gateshead. And I think we will have a very sustainable economy. I I am optimistic about the One Plan. It sets a really strong direction for Newcastle Gateshead, a very clear economic vision, um, building on the, the city's strengths. There is a will uh, from business, from education, uh, from, from the people of the North East to make this work. We'll make it work. Fundamentally, I think what is at stake in the One Plan is to make the city what it was. It was a leading city in the world. We can be that again.